Hello there, this is Jedi Master Daniel 96 and in today's video I'll be reviewing Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness and how I'll do this review is it won't be scene by scene and I will talk about spoilers for those that have been wondering and if you don't want to be spo spoiled and you haven't seen the movie yet please click off the video and then come back to this video after you've seen the movie so I want to get that out of the way and also when I'll talk about things, I will like sort of, you know, like address certain things and then just talk about things that went on in the movie. So just want to get that out of the way. So let's get to it. So Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness is the second Doctor Strange movie. And, you know, it's part of the MCU. And this is part of Phase 4 of the MCU. And this is directed by Sam Raimi, who directed the first three Spider-Man movie so 15 years later San Raimi comes back to direct another comic book movie so San Raimi is back in the Marvel fold so you got that there and with this movie um, Wanda is the villain of this movie and the driving force of the plot is that Wanda is after America Chavez which is like the MacGuffin of this movie and then you know America Chavez is you know jumping from different universes and all so she does know a lot about the multiverse and then you know Wanda wants to see her kids but in actuality her kids from WandaVision are in another universe so you know Wanda has kids in another universe where in like the main MCU timeline she doesn't so like the Wanda from the main MCU timeline is the villain of this movie and so that's that there and then you know Strange and Chavez go from different universes so to find a way to stop Wanda and all and then so yeah that there and then if you're wondering about like all the 2000s Marvel actors coming in there is no toby Maguire spider-man there is no ben affleck daredevil there is no hugh jackman wolverine there is none of the original fantastic four cast there's no 2003 hulk so you don't have none of that and there is no nicholas cage ghost rider but you do have professor charles xavier played by patrick stewart so that's the only like classic reoccurring marvel actor you get in this movie so that's that and i know leading up to this movie there was a talk of a tom cruise iron man variant and that is not in the movie either so that's that so we don't get none of that which was all the big speculation and all the big talk but the Patrick Stewart as Charles Xavier was true with all the other speculation on who would show up in this movie is false. And it is interesting that, you know, San Raimi took it more like I'm going to make a movie, you know, just to make a movie and not worry about all the fan service and all that. And it's kind of like, you know, it's not like Spider-Man No Way Home where it was kind of seeing all... The previous stuff we've seen in all that with all the Spider-Man movies, you don't get like previous things you get from like all the classic Marvel movies. So it kind of Multiverse of Madness does the opposite of No Way Home is the best way to put it there. And so that's that. And San Raimi really brings a lot of the horror elements to the table because, you know, before San Raimi did, you know, his Spider-Man movies, he did horror movies back in the day and he's also well known for doing the Evil Dead movies and that's kind of you know where San Raimi got his you know fame before you know doing the Spider-Man movies so you know San Raimi does bring a lot of horror roots into this and I would say Multiverse of Madness is a darker Marvel movie it's not like the too light-hearted to like, you know, it's not like your typical lighthearted Marvel movie. This is more of a darker Marvel movie, like compared to others. So that's that there. And then 
we do have, you know, Doctor Strange talking to another Doctor Strange from a, another universe, and they're all played by Benedict Cumberpatch. And then at the beginning, we see America Chavez with another Doctor Strange from another universe, which gets killed. And then at, near the end of the movie, in the big conflict with Wanda, that that Doctor Strange gets into a like zombie Doctor Strange to fight against Wanda, and then like. Strange is kind of like controlling it, which is pretty interesting. Then we go to a bit where Strange is, you know, talking with another Doctor Strange, and it is interesting. I like to see how they made that and like how Benedict Cumberpatch, you know, did that, you know, like how he was doing that film in the movie, talking to. So it's pretty much almost like he was talking to himself. I wonder, like, they did one bit if they got the camera on, you know, the MCU Doctor Strange and then this universe Doctor Strange, like kind of like you had to change costumes. Well, like, I wonder like how they did like film in that. It'd be pretty interesting there in that. And then we see a bit where with the place where the Illuminati is, where Wanda pretty much, you know, kills the Illuminati and all. And then like we kind of see her in this like, Zom, not let's say she's a zombie, but she kind of looks all like a mess and all, like not in her Scarlet Witch outfit. And she's, you know, when she fights the Illuminati, and then we see, you know, in like the main MCU universe where she's, you know, in her Scarlet Witch costume. So you have that there. And then, you know, we have one gets kind of a small role in this movie because there's the bit you know like he gets captured by wanda and all and then at the end we have america chavez you know it's captured and all but then they end up defeating wanda in the end so you got that there and i mean we don't know if wanda dies even though she gets covered in rocks so i'd say it's up in the air with what happens to wanda maximoff aka the scarlet witch so We'll just have to wait and see in the future. And we do have a Bruce Campbell cameo in this, like Raimi does bring in a Bruce Campbell cameo, which, you know, just like he did in the in his Spider-Man movies. So you got that there. And like Bruce Campbell is like one of those food stand guys you see on the street. So he's pretty much that in the movie, which, you know, Bruce Campbell and Sam Raimi you know, grew up together and are pretty good friends, and that's why, you know, he's almost in every Sam Raimi movie, so that's that. And I did enjoy this movie, and I did like how it was, like, you know, took a different approach. It wasn't, like, the very generic Marvel movies, you know, with the MCU, where some of them feel so generic. Like, this one is one of those where it can bring a more unique flavor to it so multiverse of madness is one of those mcu movies that can bring you know that unique flavor and with the we do have mr fantastic in this movie and it's neither the one from the two that were made in the 2000s or the one from the 2015 reboot so it's neither of that actor to play mr fantastic it's a completely different Mr. Fantastic so you got that there and then you have Captain Carter where she's in like you know kind of a costume kind of like where she's you know her own version you know like where she was the first Avenger of her universe so you got that there with Captain Carter then you have a completely different um Captain Marvel, it's not, you know, Brie Larson was coming back to play Captain Marvel. It's a completely different one. So, yeah, that there. So, yeah, there's, like, you know, like, that's pretty much it. And then, like, what a current MCU characters is pretty much Doctor Strange and Wanda as the main two. And then you have, you know, like, Doctor Strange's friend, Juan, and all. So that's pretty much on, like, the uh, current MCU characters. And then, yeah, there's quite some stuff that goes on in this movie, and I'd give this movie probably about an 8 out of 10 or a 9 out of 10, and I would recommend it, and if you're a fan of the San Raimi Spider-Man movies, obviously would recommend it, and if you're a fan of San Raimi movies in general, I'd recommend it, even if you're a fan of his horror movies, 
definitely go see this. And if you just like Marvel movies in general, definitely go see this movie. And that does it for me in this video. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, comment what you think down below. Did you like this movie, not like this movie? Let me know your thoughts down below. Share this video, tell your friends to subscribe. Let's get to 500 subscribers and follow me on Twitter, danr 87 Instagram, jmd96 underscore yt, and Facebook, jammasterdaniel96. Have a great day.